cool. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at me or just my general demeanor, but I am not an alpha male. <laughs> I'm not an alpha, I'm not even a beta. I'm like three before Omega. Like, <laughs> I've been called a little puck to my face before, been like, well, that's your opinion. <laughs> In fact, I know I'm lucky to be a millennial because if I had been born even 10 years earlier, I wouldn't have lived this long. <laughs> I know that because I was in Louisiana for 10 minutes before I let a possum climb me. <laughs> All right, it was just coming right at me. And by the time I realized it wasn't like a little squirrel that wanted to play or something, it was hanging off my belt. I don't know if I looked a possum in the face in person before, but its face is an actual demon. It's the most horrifying thing you can have hanging off your crotch, and I'm trying to hump it off as hard as I can. <laughs> just bend my knees and dick, because I want to touch it. Everybody knows you touch a possum, get bit by a possum, you become a possum. That's just science. <laughs> so now I'm trying to hump it off, but it climbs onto my shoulder and chirps in my ear, and not the cute Pocahontas like, meow, yeah, meow. Yeah. He was like, oh, immediately. And I was like, okay, I guess how I die. I didn't know I died so young. I had no idea. And then my friend slapped off my shoulder and saved my life. Have you ever had your life saved when the stakes were incredibly low? <laughs> it's terrible. I'll tell you guys this because we're family. I don't know if I believe in evolution anymore. What I mean by that is I believe in evolution up until this point, but I think we're done. <laughs> you know, because you evolve from necessity and we've like run out of necessity. Like even if Apple never comes out another update, we're like fine. <laughs> I don't know how to grow food. And that's been fine the whole time. <laughs> In fact, everywhere I go, the food was nice enough to kill itself before I got there, be seasoned, and not have a face. <laughs> so if we're gonna evolve from this point on, like as, and I mean as a species, not just our stuff. This is cool stuff, it's the best stuff in the history of stuff, but if we're gonna evolve as humans, then it's really up to women to keep humanity honest because we're the only species where the females mate with the weak. We're the only one. If a deer's limping into the woods, all the does aren't like, but I love him. They let that die. <laughs> they let it die every time. There's no four leg broken baby like, you guys want to play? Because usually I do it alone. That's only humans. Humans are the only ones that are like, oh my God, he's going to art school. He's trying. No. <laughs> let him go. That's how you get me. Do you want more me? Do you want more guys? We got to go see Green Lantern. I heard good things. Like, no one needs that. And I'm not trashing any man in here. I had to return a jar of pickles to Trey Joe's. I couldn't open it. So I know. <laughs> I know I'm not high on the list to make new people. It's just what has to happen. You know? I'll tell you guys this too. Sometimes I get on Facebook because I don't care about being happy. <laughs> Does it bother anybody else that there's no bottom? <laughs> there's no bottom. You can scroll until you die. There's no bottom. <laughs> and you're never done. You never finish Facebook. You're just like, you either get so mad that you get off or you realize you're late. Those are the only two ways to get off. <laughs> and, but I've noticed this disturbing trend. It's really upsetting me where people online, on Facebook, are being called racist now, but for like actually nothing. Like I'll read the whole thread because I'm petty. So I'll read the post and then get to the bottom and be like, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> oh no. You know, and I've noticed there's a lot of like white people calling other white people racist. And I'll just tell you as a black dude that grew up in the South, I don't think you're racist until you go to your second clan meeting, all right? <laughs> Hear me out. Because <laughs> maybe the first one, maybe your friend Dale should invite you to a barbecue. Everybody loves barbecue, all right? You get there, there's a delicious barbecue, there's dry rib, there's sloppy, it's all happening. You see somebody put on a white hood, you're like, I know it's a costume barbecue, that's a little odd, but you keep eating, okay? <laughs> 
and there's corn on the cob, there's yams, mashed potatoes, it's all happening. And then there's a burning cross in front of you, and you're like, I'm already here. <laughs> I say this because I have my friend Jordan. He accidentally went to a Klan rally. And he didn't know what to do. He, he was like, I ate all the food, I can't miss the meeting. <laughs> Turns out Klan rallies don't just start, they ease you in with a barbecue. And then he left and he went home, he called me. I came over to his house, we talked about it. Turns out a Klan rally is exactly what you think a Klan rally is like, there were no spoilers there. <laughs> but just past his head in the kitchen, I could see a to-go plate. <laughs> and I was like, Jordan, 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 are those Klan ribs? <laughs> And he was like, yeah, and I was like, can I have some? <laughs> and it hurts me as a black dude that grew up in the South to say that the Klan makes the best ribs. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what kind of rub that is. Who would've known you can't taste racism? It's delicious. <laughs> It was to the point where I was like, I think you need to join. I need these every Sunday. These are amazing. <laughs> Guys, I'm Josh Johnson. Thanks so much. You have a great night. Appreciate it. <laughs> I have to have those ribs. Thank you, Very nice. Thank you so Sorry, much. I messed man. up your name up front. Oh, no. I've been drinking. I apologize. Yeah. I was upset. That's Josh Johnson, everybody.